Deal or no deal? Deal. Well, I was going to say, would you do 110 for these and throw in the purse? Hey guys, it's Dustin the Pro Picker here. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. We had multiple community yard sales going on in the area, neighborhood sales, whatever. I had my wife take off work and I sent her to some of the nicer neighborhoods to go over there and see what she could find. And she did excellent. So we're splitting up to go to yard sales. Ooh. Super cold, super cold, super cold. Good morning. Cold. Yes, it is. It's very chilly. Very cold. <laughs> I saw him walk away with all the good stuff. Left and dry. Oh, good. This is fresh for you. Yes, I was supposed to. You mean this? Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, well, thank you, ma'am. Very good. Y'all have a good day. You too, ma'am. What do you have on this? <laughs> the cover. <laughs> you know, I don't know. <clears throat> If I do or I don't, it's not there. And the clubs. And the, and the, and the clubs. All of this? Yeah, all this. The bag and all the clubs. Oh, 45. 45? Uh, and what do you have on? Pardon me. What do you have on that set? Uh, the same, that's a men's left-handed set. Okay. So, 45 for both, I mean, a piece. And then this bag's 25. I don't know. I thought I had kind of baby bags. I take 110 for all of these. Would you do... I guess I use them all for... Deal or no deal. Deal. Well, I was going to say, would you do 110 for these and throw in the purse? Um... Yeah? Oh, you, even, you have even more. I'm, Pardon me? You have even more. Let's see. I've got a, I've got a, this bag. Okay. You're so funny. Deal or no deal? Pardon me? You said you're so funny. Deal or no deal? <laughs> yeah. This goes with this. Okay. This is the cover. It needs cleaning. So. It's funny because I told my husband I was not going to buy any big stuff. <laughs> And I totally did. <laughs> and this cover doesn't go with anything. Okay. So let's see, we've said 110 for all of that in the purse. In the purse? Is, is this $10 for all of those? Just all of it? Yeah. Okay, I want that too. Oops. So at 120. Yeah. I got okay. my calculator. Okay. <laughs> Can you reach that? Oh. I think that's a, 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 let's see. That's a medium. That's kind of big. Strange. I think that one. Let's see. I know oh, why not. That is. Like an extra large. I think on that. <laughs> you can reach it. There we go. Okay. I owe you one. 20. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll put this down here. I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to my husband. Because 
What is that you got around your neck? So this is, uh, my husband and I have a YouTube channel where we go around to yard sales. Mostly him, I'm kind of back, back up, but <laughs> go around to YouTube uh, go, and film what we buy and people live vicariously through that. <laughs> One. Bye. 120. 120. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go grab my car. Yeah, I'll back in. And... Okay, thank you. Hey. How you doing? Pretty good. Yourself? Now we're just getting set up for the big garage sale weekend. Yeah. If it's not priced, just ask. And we'll... Every, all the DVDs are a dollar. They're not mine. I'm just selling it to my own. Okay. Do you know uh, if you have the disc for this one? <laughs> That's so funny, I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't look, she just caught me. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> I would check though, I'll have to ask people to check. Yeah, no, that's what I said. He, he opened one up and the case was empty. I'll have to tell Kate. How much do you have on the Xbox? You know, I was thinking about 50 bucks. We bought it, bought it for the kids, and the kids kind of grew it quick, and I never played it. Mm. Or make it an offer. <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> right. That's why she's not in pricing or sale. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do, like, on the games and stuff, DVDs and stuff here that I have in the, in the system? Would you do 40 bucks? Well, the games are separate. Oh, okay. How much wanted, are they? Let's see, the games aren't ours. Oh, okay. She wanted like $5 for each game. Oh, I see. So, I just can mess this all up. These all came from that pile. Um, like two dollars. Were the Xbox games with the Xbox or? No, the Xbox. Probably each one is a buck. No, the games are five dollars. Oh, games are five bucks. That was cheap. No, the X. The Xbox games are my games. Those are five bucks. Or a dollar. What did I say? I still heard game for On the Xbox, on the Xbox games and this, would you do? Would you do uh, like thirty-five? I'll do forty-five because I was really going to do fifty for the Xbox. Game. Would you meet at uh, forty? I'll meet you at forty. Okay, and then, or so are these uh, that were down there priced different than these? Yeah, those are not mine. Okay, and these were the dollar ones. These are the dollars. Down. Okay. Those are five bucks each. Okay, and these came. They, these came from this. Yeah, PS twos are. Masters edition. What? Oh, I want that. I don't think I want this. This is the Masters Historic. <laughs> Would you do three for ten on the five dollar games? I know. Uh, three for ten. Yeah. The answer is yes. Okay. Yes. So we're at forty. I guess forty-four to you and ten to her. That's correct. That right? All right. So 50, 50, 54. All right. What did you have on the chess set? Chess set was going to be 50 bucks. 50? Start. It is it really be, cool. It is really cool. But I mean, as the days go on here, the price will come down. But gotcha. But right now it'll start at 50 because I think it's pretty cool. Okay. Um, what at work? How do you want it? Yeah, well, that was about like 400 bucks. Which work? No, no Elite. The golf clubs for sale or not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got covered. Everyone's asking that question. <laughs> you need to bring out mine. Where my my nobody would want that. Yours are yeah, I can get on myself. You'll need them someday. I 
Guarantee I will not. <laughs> <laughs> what was the math on that again? Now I gotta redo the math in my head. So we were at uh, 44 there and, oh, and 10 there. 10 there, so we're at 54. All right. Well, I appreciate the deal. Well, like I said, we're, we're trying to get, if you ever move, we want to downsize stuff, so it's not the time to do it. I have 60. 60, so 54. I got it right here. One, two, three, four. All right. Five. Six. All right, there you go. I appreciate it. You bet. Okay. Yeah, I owe Kate 10. I'm going to put 10 in Kate's thing. Oh, she sold three games. I'm going to make two trips. I'll be right back up. Oh, yeah, no problem. All right, thanks again, guys. You bet. Thank you. Take care check out the golf club lot. We already went through it and pulled out the ones that are just too low value that we're gonna toss over to the flea market. So just quick background. I know enough to kind of be dangerous about golf clubs, but I'm by far not a subject matter expert. It's an area that I'm trying to work on right now, and but I still think she killed it on this one. Definitely a lot of good brand names here. So we've got this Callaway ft5 here so that's pretty cool right there obviously Callaway being a really good brand and it's pink it is these are women's clubs right here so we've got an odyssey cutter and it's got its head cover and everything too it's the uh marksman exact i've never sold this one before but this is a good putter and worth something right you look you're the one yeah. that picked that up well, there we go. This is, I'm going to be throwing comps up on the screen while we do this. Uh, got some big Burfas here, some ERCs, a three wood and a five wood. Ended up with this Adams Golf Idea here and a sandwich, sand wedge. Sandwich. <laughs> got another Adams Idea here. This is a women's driver. Ended up with uh, this Lady Venom driver. Big Burfa gems here, so we've got a six and a wedge. A tailor-made M8, which is a cool putter right there. That's a good one. The Palomar, which I think is kind of like, probably gonna take a while to sell, uh, the Carlsbad series putter. Ended up in this bag, things ended up being pretty solid here too. So we've got a Big Burfa ERC. ERC to Big Burfa here. Um, so pretty good club. Uh, Intimidator, Titanium 400, uh, top flight here. Uh, Selfer's pretty bad on this, but it's still worth money, so we're gonna put it up there. Um, ended up with a set. This is our only iron set that we got out of it. It has a pitching wedge, and five, seven, eight, and nine. Big Bertha X12 iron, so pretty good. I think it's good. Uh, iron sets are nice because, you know, you load them up and you just get one money for it and you only have to do one ship. Got a Nike putter here. And if I can do oh. this one-handedly, one-handedly. Mm -hmm. um, it's a BC 101. So this is a good little Nike putter here. Got a Top Flight Sand Wedge uh, LCG. Uh, Taylor made RAC, which is, uh, this is one of the clubs that I actually picked up recently in a lot. It was a whole iron set though. Got the uh, Callaway, Big Bertha Irons, and uh, another one right here. So yeah, overall, uh, the golf bags have value too, of course. So we'll be selling those and uh, pretty good. I, I think uh, she scored on this. Running over some numbers here with you guys so this is only uh this is only for the golf clubs and anything she bought at that first sale anything else is not being covered in this 
just from the golf clubs and the golf balls and everything that she purchased in that sale, plus the Dooney and Burke bag, which is already sold. We have uh, potential gross sales, 15.69 and 15 cents. Now, mind you, that's a very ideal number there, guys. I mean, and it's gonna take a while to sell some of this stuff, and we do put sales on our aging inventory, so I would expect for us to hit underneath this number by possibly two to 300, but this is just from comping it out, guys. So it's an ideal potential. Um, this, um, and that's gross sales. So we'd be deducting shipping of 365. And eBay fees and promoted listings combined would come out to about 236. And we're looking at a cost of goods sold of $120 and a very ideal pre-tax profit of 848.15 from one sale, which is absolutely crushing it. And it can go to show you the power of some used golf clubs uh, when they're sitting in somebody's garage sale. They're sitting around taking a broom, haven't been used in years, and they just want to get rid of them. If you're willing to put in the work and the patience and uh, store them, which is the big con with this kind of stuff is the storage and the space that they take up uh you can make some money all right everything's a mess here but jess is here with me you know how i told you to get golf clubs and video games and you didn't bring out many video game related things yeah this was in the bag and it's uh, one of the golf bags the callaway big burfa bag and it's actually a promotional item from the nintendo 64 era worth 45 dollars you're welcome. Golf ball and golf tees right there. What the <laughs> heck? Uh, it's so cool. I almost want to keep it. Like there's only one listed, one sold right now. If I could ask you guys a really big favor, please consider subscribing. It'll help you stay up to date with my most recent videos. Also, it would really help me out if you hit the like button on today's video and maybe even drop a comment below if you feel like it. Reason to subscribe would be Jess and I went out to tons of yard sales over the past weekend. I've went to a bunch of thrift stores. I've got a ton of amazing finds of filling up my vehicle and her having filled up hers that I wanna share with you guys. And it's gonna make for some incredible videos coming up. The time out at those community sales will sort of be like a series, except you don't have to watch all of them if you don't want to. I mean, you'll be missing out if you don't, but uh, it'll be sort of just kind of a series, but each video will be its own standalone, if that makes sense. With that, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.